podcast here. The uh, basically, I'm going to be talking about a few things um, in the music and audio industry. Um, I'm basically focusing on um, just things like per audio stuff, regular headphones, and things like that. So, uh, for this one, let me start recording. But wait for it. It looks like my OBS stopped for a minute. All right. So anyway. All right. So we got the uh, the AirPods Max. So these AirPods Max are from Apple, and obviously Apple has um, been the spotlight for um, quite some time <laughs> about a whole bunch of things. So. You know, I used to work for uh, Apple through, well, not used to work directly for Apple as well as uh, through Xerox. So I'm all too familiar about the type of stuff that they have, which is like expensive, to be honest with you. Um, anything that basically comes from Apple is practically expensive at this point. So, you know, it's. It's at this point, it's pretty, pretty much, you know, doesn't need to be said. Um, the AirPods Max is wildly expensive. So I was looking around YouTube, looking to see if there was like any stuff that I could actually review. But uh, these specific ones kind of just like out of the water, like out, yeah, out of the water, expensive headphones. I wanted to double check to see if these headphones were actually pro audio, like around like, yeah, pro audio, kind of like the Beats by Dre when they had some of the um, sort of kind of pro audio stuff. No, these are actually consumer headphones and you're just, I'm sitting here like, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. How do they have consumer headphones for, what is it? $549 $549 minus tax. So I'm just sitting there going like, why does that cost so much for a pair of headphones that are, that are consumer level, not prosumer, not professional audio, just regular consumer headphones. That's practically like, <laughs> that's practically ridiculous at this point. Um, now granted, oops, uh, let me I need to move this a little bit. Granted, to the point. There we go. Got it. Yeah. So, granted, to the point, it's it's like these headphones, like out of the box. Um, I mean, they have different colors and everything. They got like green, blue, silver, gray, and pink. Um, I mean, they're practically cool colors and everything, but. Man, that that is expensive, man. Five hundred forty nine dollars for a pair of consumer headphones, and then you have to add the Apple Care to those headphones, which would cost another sixty dollars. I mean, it's expensive, man. I I never seen that expensive set of consumer headphones before. So, normally when you have headphones at that price, it's usually for folks that. Um, have experience in the professional audio industry. Um, the Beats by Dre, which is another set of headphones that uh, Apple has, uh, which was previously sold from Monster Inc. I think it's Monster Inc. or Monster something. I forget what it was. Uh, the company Monster. So uh, Monster was. Um, they created these headphones um, in conjunction with uh, uh, Dr. Dre, and they turned around and sold those that sold the Beats um, to, I think it was um, uh, it was to another company before Apple bought them out. And I saw these headphones here, and like these aren't as expensive as um, the AirPods Max, so. Um, 
I never really liked the Beats by Dre either for some odd reason. I liked them better when they was actually with Monster. Um, but obviously, Beats by Dre is also consumer level headphones. Um, normally, I, I wouldn't consider reviewing consumer level he- headphones. I'm more for the professional audio, prosumer um, headphones that actually work and um, actually is um, competition enough to where you can actually use them in the studio. Because uh, most consumer headphones don't have the correct level of uh, frequency, the you know highs, mids, lows, and it's just not there. So um, consumer level headphones that have like an overly charged, either t- too high a frequency or too much bass in the uh, in the music, where it's like you couldn't really hear the rest of the um the music or like the actual like the sound design and things like that so um that's why i wouldn't really use consumer level headphones for professional audio and pretty much anybody would tell will tell you that um but anyway so yeah they still have the beats by dre but it's like more towards it's like it's a smaller scale um the AirPods Max, they let, they have that listed for five forty nine, and um, they have it where you can do monthly payments for ninety one fifty for six months, with an asterisk sign to it. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find the. Yeah, I'm trying to find the. Um, I said probably just go to YouTube. AirPods Max commercial. There we go. All right, so this this looks to be the commercial here. AirPods have come to define magical wireless audio. Um, to build on this, we set out to create the ultimate personal listening experience. The ultimate personal listening experience. Yeah, they definitely thought different as far as like the the they look like the the headphones themselves look like they're um I don't want to say they're from the 70s um but they look I mean they they're trying to put um they have a studio look to them but I just would not consider <laughs> I wouldn't consider really buying these headphones personally, to be honest with you. Even I mean, even if I was a millionaire, I still wouldn't buy it because it, it just doesn't. It's not there. Um, most of you guys know that Apple just you know passes themselves as a luxury company, a luxury computer company, luxury phone company, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But um, mostly, I mean, this is not. You know, I, I would not consider buying headphones from Apple. Not not in this level. Um, I would definitely recommend getting something from either Sony or um, I probably throw Audio Techs in there just just for that. or JBL. I know JBL is um, halfway decent now. They're not as you know as good as they were back before Samsung bought JBL. Um, well, this parent company, um, Harman, but, um, anyway, so yeah, I mean, if you guys like these headphones, by all means, but, oh, I forgot about the case. The case looks kind of weird too. I don't know that they just look, oops, there you go. They just look weird. Um, this is like a set of headphones that my, my dad would probably wear. <laughs> yeah, my dad will probably just wear these headphones. Um, that's as probably as far as as they would go, even though, um, I mean, my dad's not rich or anything, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> um... So I know that these already have been out for some time, and uh, there has actually has been some uh, folks that had some issues with it. Um, as from what I know, um, I've been following some other YouTubers, um, 
in, into finding out exactly what's uh, what it is. Um, I guess for the average consumer, I would say it, they're somewhat worth it. Um, oh yeah, yeah, everybody's doing a teardown and everything to them. It's already showed up nine to five Mac and The Verge. Um, let's take a look here. Oh, I totally forgot about that thing too. AirPods speaker, Bluetooth headphones. Um, yeah, I don't know. They just, they're, I don't know if they're bulky. Is just, I don't know. Let me take a look at that again. Um, let's see. Well, they look like they they put some. They look like they they put some thought into the hardware itself. Yeah, they put some thought into that. AirPods creation custom acoustic design features a forty millimeter dynamic driver and a unique dual. What is that? Neodymium ring magnet motor. Um. Oh yeah, the, I forgot about the that last feature there. So, the AirPods Max don't really sync up with any sort of other type of devices besides the iPhones, iPods, and iThings. So, um, trying to pair this up with Ring Machine, anywhere else, it's like, yeah, that's not the question. So, I don't know. It's it's just not there. Availability beginning Tuesday, December 15th. Um, AirPods are the most popular headphones in the world, beloved for their effortless setup, incredible sound quality, and iconic design. I don't see for that to be an iconic design. Um, <sighs> Apple Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing. Yeah, all right. This looks weird. Um, what else we got? Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's not there for me. It's just really not there. Press release December eighth. Um I probably would buy the Beats by Dre over or Beats Studio headphones over the AirPods Max. Um I don't I really honestly don't recommend getting Bluetooth um, headphones for studio level work, mainly because of the latency. Um, if you're recording like emotional sounds, like say for example, if you're messing around with a guitar or something like that, um, it, I mean, it just doesn't, it won't, it, it won't necessarily pick up. Or it, it, will, it will pick up, but the latency is so bad. Um, it's like really bad. Um, if you're messing around with Reason 10, or you're messing around with Cubase, or you're messing around with um, Ableton, Sony Asset Pro, um, Reaper, and things like that, you're going to need a wired set of uh, headphones. So I would not recommend Bluetooth headphones specifically for that reason. Um, it's it's just terrible terrible latency um so definitely not beats by dre um i do plan on uh, reviewing more headphones that are wired um, but this obviously would not be it and the airpods max would not be either i'm not sure if the airpods max is bluetooth or not yeah there, i don't think it's bluetooth let me double check the specs again Audio technology, we have microphones. Oh, wow. So it says it has eight different microphones uh, for active noise cancellation. Okay, that's a lot of microphones. Um, what else we got? Um, have a whole bunch of, oh it has a gyroscope oh listen to that it has a gyroscope okay that's uh that's pretty cool um 
the battery lasts tw up to 20 hours for listening time, movie playback, and talk time. Five minutes of charge um, provides one and a half hours or 90 minutes of listening time. So, um, let's see what's let's see what how much that is. Hold on a second. C A L C. Let's put that over there. So 20 hours divide by 1.5, oops. So five times 13. So it needs an hour and some change. So 67 minutes. So it charges within an hour and you get 20 hour, twenty hours out of that. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. Um, that's, that's good. So Apple did something right about that. Um, connectivity, Bluetooth 5.0, system requirements, um, everything Mac, obviously. The compatibility goes from the SE all the way to 12. Uh, the Mac iPad Mini 4 all the way to the 12. Um, huh, they got it com connected to the watch and some other models. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, that, I don't know, that's, that's a tacky design from the side the, the side the side design if you look at it from the side view it, it just kind of looks tacky um, I mean it works but the front I mean this it looks, it looks decent um, but um, the side is I don't know for some reason it just looks tacky to me uh, yeah $549. And that's without the tax. That's definitely without the tax. They really know how to fill up the whole screen with that, don't they? Yeah, this uh, website was basically modified for the phone. <laughs> I need to start doing websites like that. Yeah, this is modified for the phone. What did I say? Yeah, 20 hours. Discover new engraving. Oh, so it has engraving options. Okay, that's unique. Probably that's going to be... Um, extra money for that. Um, there are a bunch of reviews of folks that bought their AirPods Max. Um, I'm not going to buy them, but there is, um, I would definitely recommend you to MBKHD as well as Unbox Therapy and um, I don't think Lion, Lion, why is Tech Tips doing it? Let me let me double check again. AirPods. Oops. AirPods Max. Is it Pro? No, Max. Yeah. So okay, here we go. So Apple itself, which has already introduced it. Um, I guess you have the Trevor Wallace. Um, did he buy every color? Yeah, he did. He bought all, he bought every last one of them. Oh, that's ridiculous. Green ones are definitely the wild card. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so. I, my favorite color is green, yet that looks 
ugly on there. <laughs> it looks so tacky. <laughs> The actual finger knock. That looks so tacky on him. I don't know why that is. That looks tacky. <laughs> that looks really tacky. Uh, <laughs> Imagine buying, buying wireless headphones just to buy a wire for them. Thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. So if you want to check the AirPods Max out for your setup, um, be my guest, but, um, at this point, I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> I'm all totally Android. I'm all Google. Um, I'm the type of person that likes to tinker with things and Apple will not allow for me for somebody like me. That's a, a technician, um, to work with that. So not happening. That is not happening. So. Um, I'm going to be doing some more podcasts like this, um, sooner than later. Um, there is a lot of con uh, content out there that I need to review. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, but otherwise I will definitely see you in the next video. All right.